Hey everybody, welcome to our first week of band practice and uh, we are doing tutorials on the snare drum. So uh, the book that we are using is the Standard of Excellence. It's going to be your red, uh, it's got the red cover on it. And this is available at most music stores, uh, Nick Rail Music and Owens Music. Uh, they both offer them. Um, make sure that it's the uh, red label. It, this is the one that we're going to be following throughout the year. And it's the Enhanced Comprehensive Band Method. Uh, if you are a drummer, you want to make sure on top it says Drums and Percussion. Uh, so look on there. Make sure you don't have the trombone or trumpet or something like that. Okay? Um, so... Our homework for this week was to go to uh, the first page here, page two, and it says putting your snare drum together. So in here it shows you how to uh, assemble your snare drum and set up the stand, and then later on we'll get, in, we'll get into how to hold the sticks and uh, actually playing it. I know everybody's really anxious to start pounding away on the drums, but it's very important that you learn these uh, first few lessons. Um, so that you develop the you know the right way to play the drums. So we've got Emery helping us today, and so she's going to take her stand out here, and uh, so I'll kind of explain uh, while she's setting it up uh, exactly what we're doing. So go ahead and grab your stand there. Okay. So now this is a snare drum stand, and uh, it's got a few different moving parts, and uh, we've got some bolts here that we want to make sure that they are not too tight but tight enough that it's not going to fall apart okay so first thing Emery go ahead and uh, set up the stand so what she's doing here is uh, she's loosening the bolt for the angle adjustment and this is the part that's actually going to hold your snare drum and so we'll tighten this just a little bit not super tight just enough to hold it while we're setting up the other parts the next thing we're going to do is we're going to open up the legs and uh, we want our legs the, to be spread out far enough that it's not going to tip over but you don't want it completely flat and I'll show you here right now once she gets that bolt tightened right where we want to have our legs set up so if you can see here uh, it's got a nice angle and so it's basically we don't want it completely flat like that it's just it's not good for the stand we want it just a little bit up and we're going to tighten this bolt right here not super tight but tight enough that it's not going to you know, loosen up and move on us while we're playing. Um, if you over tighten it, uh, it's going to wear this part out and also it's going to be really hard for you to loosen when you want to put your drums away. Um, okay, so go ahead and uh, set your stand up. Uh, we're going to put that on the floor now. Okay, now on here it's got an angle adjustment and you can see when I loosen this bolt, this will tip back and forth. And usually what I do when I set it up first is I'll, I'll put it kind of level, but tilt it back just a little tiny bit. And then we want to tighten this. Again, don't over tighten it. Just enough that it's not going to move on you when you're playing your drums. Okay, so before we actually put our drum on top of the stand, we want to check all three of these bolts to make sure that they're snug, that they're nice and tight. And uh, they're all good and tight. And then so we're ready to put our snare drum on top. Now what I've done for Emery here is I have put some tape on the two arms and I put it on the two that are closest to her when she's playing. So then uh, if you can see the tape there, when she takes her drum out of the bag, go ahead and take your drum out. We've got on the actual drum here uh, the parts that hold the snare and uh, the lugs that hold the heads onto the drum and I'll get into all the parts right now um, but you don't want any of those to be up against the part where you hold it so I've put green tape on the two sides that match the two sides where it actually sits on the drum so go ahead and set your drum on and get that and get the green tape lined up with the part that holds it okay so she's lining up we want this to, to hold it inside. We want the drum to sit inside the handles, but, okay. And it's going to take you a little practice. Keep working on it. Um, the main thing is, is that 
Uh, you set it up the same way every time. So each time you play your drum, it's going to sound exactly the same way that it did the last time. And uh, so down right under here on the bottom is an adjustment screw. And what that's actually doing is that's tightening the arms that hold the drum. We want it to hold it nice and tight uh, so that the drum doesn't move around while, while we're playing it. And usually what I'll do is I'll kind of wiggle the drum a little bit while I'm tightening it down here on the bottom. And then that way I know that uh, all three of the arms are holding it nice and tight. Okay? So what I have Emery doing right now, go ahead and do it again, is I have her lifting up the drum. And make sure the stand is not going to fall off when you lift up the drum. Because if the drum falls off right there, then you know it's not tight enough. So that's kind of like the test to make sure that it's tight enough. Now the next thing we want to do is we want to make sure that it's level but slightly leaning towards you. So just tip it just a little bit back towards you and tighten that adjustment. The other thing is we want four inches below your waist because you don't want to be playing up here and you don't want to be playing way down here. You want your arms to be sideways like this and so you can just play nice and easy. So we want to make sure that we have it about four inches below the waist. And that's done with the height adjustment screw. So we drop it down so that it's a nice comfortable position and you've got your drumsticks and, and you just want to hold your arms out with your drumsticks, make sure it's going to be a comfortable position. Okay. So uh, now that we know how to set up the stand and put the snare on, uh, we need to look at the different parts of the snare. And so I have my drum here that's already torn apart. You've got several different parts. You've got uh, the shell, which is the outside of the drum, okay? And that's actually what is going to hold the drum heads on, okay? The other thing we've got is the head, and this is the part that when you hit it makes the noise, okay? That, and, um, but this doesn't just hold on by itself. We need a rim. So we have the ring here. This is the rim that will actually hold the head to the drum and that goes over the top like that. Now in order to hold the ring on the rim we have the lugs and the lug bolts. Okay. Now these right here are uh, you've got usually eight sometimes ten um, bolts on on your snare and uh, they go in there and you tighten those down and we'll get more into the proper tensioning, how to actually tighten the bolts down. Uh, there's a certain pattern that you want to do so you get a nice uh, even um, sound out of your drum. You don't want it too tight on one side or too tight on the other. Now the thing that makes the snare noise is on the bottom and that's the strainer here. These are the little wires that actually gives the drum that unique sound. And there's a tensioner on here that will tighten and loosen those snares and if you move that down it makes them loose when you tighten it it makes them tight and we'll show you on Emery's drum right now the different sounds that you get okay go ahead honey not too hard so first she's gonna have it tight and it'll make that snare sound now go ahead and loosen it okay and hit it again you hear that? It has a, uh, it's more of a timbale sound. And you can play the drum both ways. Sometimes I'll play my drum like this and actually tighten it halfway through. So I'll be playing. And it just depends on what type of music you're playing if you want to change the way it sounds. Um, also on her drum uh, is a little knob on the side. And basically what we have here is it's, it's a tensioner and there's a little felt pad underneath the head and when you tighten that it moves up against the head of the drum and so it will actually make it a little bit quieter so it doesn't ring so much and especially if you're playing at home and your mom and dad it's already noisy so if you tighten this up a little bit it'll take some of that extra noise out of it and then Emery if you can hand me that white ring over there and then also what I like to use uh, my snare drum doesn't actually have one of the dampening felt pads in there. So I have these uh, little Remo rings here, and that simply goes right on top of the drum. You just lay it right on there, and it does the same thing as it'll take out some of the extra ring. Now, 
For most of you, you already have a practice pad. And uh, I also have a practice pad with a stand. And so this one will just screw right on here. It's got a little bolt on it. And so you can pray, play with your practice pad. That's a lot better for at home. And it doesn't make so much noise, but you can still practice your stick movement. Okay. Um, another thing that they have, uh, besides that, if you have a practice, pra a practice pad, that's great. Uh, also, get yourself some 7A drumsticks. And then the 7A is going to be skinny enough for the smaller hands. And uh, they're light and quick. Uh, we like to use the Zildjian. It's a little bit shorter stick. They make some other ones that are a little bit longer. If uh, if you know maybe you're a bigger kid and you you know you need a larger a larger stick to play with. Um, and then the last thing here, besides the practice pad, is we actually have this piece of rubber that fits right on top of your snare drum. So as if you're at home, whether you have a practice pad or not, you can also get this, and they're very inexpensive. And then so you can play your drum with the practice pad. Lost the other stick. Uh, I don't know what we did with it. I'm going crazy. It's live TV, folks. You never know what's going to happen. Oh, you left it on the chair over there when you walked over. Um, so in, also in addition, you've got the practice pad with the stand. Uh, you want to make sure you bring this with you every time you practice. Um, I actually keep my practice pad in the car with me. So if I'm driving somewhere and I ha I'm bored and I have to wait, I can, you know, kind of tinker around and, and mess with it a little bit. Um, so you want the practice pad. The stand is optional, but it's really preferred, especially when you're standing up at uh, your band class. And then your book It's going to be the red label. And make sure it says drums on the top of it. Okay, we're going to be referring to this a lot. Uh, so page two and three is the first thing that we want to go over with how to set up and how to hold your sticks and actually playing it. And then also in the back, there's a lot of music and, and stuff in here that we're going to get to later. But in the back is what's called rudiments. And we'll get to those also. And these are the things that you want to be practicing every day uh, just to get your... Your, they call it chops. You keep your chops up and you're going to learn your, your stick movement. So you've got left, right, left, right, and so on and so forth. So we'll get more into this later. Right now we're more just kind of learning about our drum. And um, I'm sorry. The right, left? Are you talking about the paradiddle? Oh, she's talking about the paradiddle. It's right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left, right, left, right, right. Left, right, left, left. And that's a fun one. I've been drumming for 30 years and I still, you know, that that's one of the, the fun ones. It's kind of got the different beats. But there's so many different rudiments and you can never learn enough, believe me. Even after playing this long, I'm still learning new, new stick movements and um, you can never have enough practice, you know. Uh, so, Emery, go ahead and uh, play right here with the, uh, let's turn the snare on. And... Right here, we, we turn the drum on you. Okay, so go ahead and just right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left, and we're. And there you go. So, uh, you guys have a good one. Uh, please check out more videos, and uh, I promise you, as time goes on, we'll get a little more sophisticated with uh, our production techniques. So, I thank you guys so much for watching, and uh, have a good night.